Hey guys, it's me, Jacob, and I'm back for another LEGO video today. And we'll be looking at how to build this kind of working LEGO one-cylinder engine. So, as I said, this kind of works, except for the fact that you need a motor to run it with. Or you can just crank it with your hands, but that gets annoying after a while and plus this sounds a lot better and I have I recommend that you use this infrared speed remote with this you're also going to need the infrared receiver and a battery pack and also a motor M or L motors work for this do not use an XL motor and make sure they're power functions. And anyways, let's get to running this engine. As you can see, the little cylinder head is popping out of the top. And that kind of shows that it's running. It's getting knocked upward by this little cam. And one downside to this design is that if this is upside down, it doesn't work right. But we have a way around that. You see these little... This piece of the orange beam? Well, there's one sticking out on each side. And... We can use that to hook on a rubber band. Now, this band keeps the cylinder head from coming all the way out. And also adds a little bit more sound to the engine while it's running. Now, keep in mind that this engine breaks a lot of rubber bands, so I wouldn't recommend using the official lego technic bands and here we go running this it needs to run in a little higher rpm and it sounds a lot better so um i'm gonna pause the video break this thing into pieces and i'm gonna show you how to build it see you later so here are all of the pieces that you were going to need to build this engine. Now, all these pieces are pre-assembled and they're kind of easy to follow along. Um, with this piece, you just need this weird three, three hole beam with the bushing connector on top and stick a two stud axle through that. You need two of them, don't matter the color. Then here, you need two of these beams here, two Technic pins, black, and this little three stud Technic pin with a hole in the middle. You need two of those. Here, you need that weird three stud beam again and stick a three stud axle through it. You need two of them. Here, you need a five stud axle with an orange lift arm in the middle. Only one. Now we need two of these pieces. Don't matter the color. Uh, two extra Technic pins. You don't need them, but those are for connecting on the motor. A rubber band. You, you will find these in the little bracelet maker kits. Here we need a five stud beam, and here are two Technic pins. What's going on here is that there is a four stud axle going through the middle hole with the bushing there, and two of these little two stud pieces there. Make sure that they're in this configuration or it doesn't work right. And those are all the parts you need, and let's start building this.
Alright, so here's the engine. It is completed if you follow the instructions, right? And you're one if you're wondering about these last two pins, they go on either side, right by where this little input axle comes out. You can use one or two of them, they just hold the motor in place. And then with the motor, you just plug it in there. Also, you can add a little wheel onto this end of the crankshaft, and that just acts as the flywheel. Now, sorry about this video quality. I'd, I have a tripod, but I figured that it would be too big and too tall, and you wouldn't be able to see the pieces. But anyways, here is the engine. Um, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit the like button down below, and subscribe. You, you don't want to miss much of our content coming up, and also coming up, um, I'm going to show, hopefully, instructions for an inline four-cylinder engine, kind of like this, but diesel. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.